In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can enhance your map with additional tools and layers. The map that we're going to be using is the map that we created in the previous video, which was getting started with Mango. The steps that we're going to follow in this tutorial are also available in our interactive setup guide, which can be accessed from the administration panel of your account. And all of the data that we're going to be using in the tutorial can be downloaded from the same place. OK, so let's begin by explaining what we're going to do. We have our map here, which contains counties in Texas and sales data. And what I would like to do is give our dealers the ability to search for their county uh, using the search bar, have the map zoom to that county, and then once it's zoomed in, be able to uh, export a print view uh, of that particular area. So we're going to do that by activating some tools. All of the tools that are available um, in Mango are in the Toolbox tab in the Admin Toolbar, and they're broken up into four categories. Search and Analysis, Visualization, Information and Display, and General Map Tools. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to modify the Search tool. By default, all new maps have Address Search activated. Uh, address Search um, is just uh, a search box where you can type in addresses, zip codes, and things like this and it will use our database to find that location on the map and zoom in. What we're going to activate is the data search feature. The data search feature behaves a little differently. The data search feature actually searches the attribute data of the map data that you've uploaded. So you can search for any text or numbers that were contained in your original data set. So we've activated it by toggling the tab and we also want to set this as the default search option rather than the address search. Once we've done that, I'm going to hit save. We can now see in the top right hand corner that the data, the search box now says data search. OK, so in addition, we're going to add the print tool, which is available in the map tools box. We're going to activate that tool. And now when the map refreshes, we can see that we have a print button down here. OK, so let's take a look at how uh, this workflow works now that we've added these additional tools. A user can go into the search box at the top here. They can type in the name of a county of interest. Um, so in this case, Comal, the county's found. And then when I click on the county, the map will zoom to that county, highlight it, and show the attribute data uh, in an information panel on the left. Um, if I'd like to print out this county, I can hit the print button uh, down here in the toolbar. I can hit generate and what the generate button will do is generate a PDF which you can then download including reports or you can uh, print out. So let's press generate and that PDF will now open in a new tab uh, and as we can see we've now got a print view uh, with Commonwealth County in the center. Okay so in addition to adding map tools to our map we can also enhance our map by adding additional layers. So this map that we're looking at right now, let's go back to the original view uh, of all of Texas. Currently we have the counties and the counties are colored based on sales volume. What I'd like to do now is add an additional layer which shows the location of the dealerships in this state. So to do that, we go to layers, I go to add layer. This time when we've opened up the add layer panel, you'll see that our sales 2015 data set that we uploaded previously is now available. So you don't have to upload a data set over and over again. Once you've uploaded it one time, it will be available in here and you can add it to the same map or to additional maps. So let's upload our new data set. Uh, we're going to upload a point shape file. So once again, I'm going to click control, hold down control and I'm going to select the four parts of the dealer location shape file and press open. It's uploading. Uh, once again, I'm going to make the, uh, the layer name more readable. So let's call that dealer locations and I'm going to hit the save key in order to add it to the map. Like last time, uh, once the data has been successfully uploaded and added to your map, automatically the layer settings panel will open. But before we change the settings, let's just close that and look at what we've got. So we can see now that we now have another layer in our legend called dealer locations, and we can see these individual points on the map. As with all of the layers, I can click on them, and I can see the, de the details for that individual uh, location. Um, you can see that we have these left and right arrows that are up here. Sometimes when you have layers stacked on top of each other, we might want the information uh, for the layer that's below. So we can press the right and left buttons and now we can see that the county below the area that I clicked is now highlighted and we can see the attribute data. Okay, so let's go back into the layer settings uh, panel and 
what we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you one more setting. Uh, we're going to go to labels and I'd like to turn on labels uh, for these dealer locations. Uh, the label value, I want to use the name of the dealer location. So let's click on name, which is one of the columns in the attribute data and press save. And we can now see that our dealer locations have been labeled on the map. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we have two layers on the map um, and you'll see that we have one checkbox here. But when I click the checkbox, both layers are turned off. And that's because they're both in the same layer group. So in layers, in the layer settings panel here, we have the ability to reorder layers. We can reorder them within a layer group by dragging them up and down. And we also have the ability to add new layer groups. Now a layer group is one or more layers that can be turned on and off in the legend. In a normal GIS system, um, it's possible to turn all layers on and off. But as we're sending the data over the internet, in order to optimize performance, um, it's better to have fewer groups that can be turned on and off in the legend as this will speed up the map. So what we do is we have the concept of layer groups and you can group sets of layers that you want to be turned off, on or off individually. So let's move those dealer location layer into that new layer group. And let's have that uh, turned on by default when the map loads. Okay, so now if we close the group, we can now see that we have our two layers on the map and now each layer group has its own checkbox. So it's possible to turn off each of the layers individually. Okay, I encourage you to go into the setup guide and try following these steps for yourself and creating your own map and also go into the toolbox and explore the various tools that are available. Thanks for watching.